everybody, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, we're going to be making bag toppers. So, for example, if you like to put your cards into baggies because you want to sell them or you just want to make a more professional look, uh, you can just not leave it as is but put something nice on it like a bag topper. So, depending on how much you have here, you're going to be able to adjust it. And also, we're going to be able to adjust the size of it uh, on this side as well. So, as for examples, I have done quite a few here. Uh, you can, of course, change the pattern paper. I have used this one here. Uh, all of these there. You can decorate the bottom of it if you want to by using either this kind of dies, these kinds of border dies you can use, or you can use also deckled edge scissors like these. They're very cheap. They come in a variety uh, of shapes, so you can use this as well to decorate the bottom. So I'm going to do this with just two, uh, two dies. It's very simple. I'm going to use a small one here, but with the small one, you're going to be able to do even bigger sizes. So you don't have to have a whole bunch of dies with different sizes or nesting dies. Of course, if you have nesting dies, it's going to be quite a bit more simple if you want to have a smaller one or a bigger one like these. This comes from the set. It's not the biggest. It's one, uh, the second biggest here, but I'm going to show you you can enlarge these if you wish to make it really um, be the right size for your card, like for example, or your envelope here. So you can use it to put it this way or you will be able to put it on the other side if you wish to, if it was a very large one, for example. So let's start. So these are a few examples and we're going to use um, circle dies. Any, almost any kind of dies will work for this. So I'm going to put this aside just for a minute. And I'm going to bring here my uh, Big Shot because that's for me the best uh, cutting machine ever, at least in the manual machines. So as for my first example, I'm going to use a circle die. So again, it can have any kind of shape. I'm going to put some dryer sheets here because it's going to be uh, more helpful to take all these bits and pieces out. I usually put my cutting die face down and then I'm going to put my other plate on top and run it through. All right, so I'm going to take this piece out. There are just few bits and pieces left. Otherwise, everything is cut perfectly. Also, put this aside. And there you go. So for this topping, it's really easy. You just need to fold it in half like this. And you've got yourself a bag topper. Very easy to do. So here it matches perfectly the size. I didn't do it deliberately. It's just the way, uh, it's just the size that my die has. So of course you need to match the paper with what you have in here. I think that if you have a lot of color, maybe your paper, your topping should be like with a bold color so it's not too busy. But it's really nice and it's perfect. If you want to, what you can do also, if you really wanted to, it's just an option. You could use another die here and make a little hole just there. I'm not going to do it right here on this one because I think that I won't have much left paper and I need something a bit sturdy. Use some kind of fixed cardstock for this, not just too flimsy. And now we're going to start doing something a little bit, not more complicated, but just a little bit. So again, I'm going to use a piece of paper and this time we're going to do it differently. The first time we didn't fold it. This time we're going to have to fold it. So you need to decide how wide or tall you want your piece to be depending on how large this is. And I have a white, a white piece here, but a lot of them are just plain transparent sheets like this part here. So you decide how large you want it to be. So now we're going to do something a little different. So we're, I'm going to use this die here and I will be always using this die for now. So I'm just going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half. So I want this to be about the size of my die here. So I'm going to make it just slightly bigger. All right. And then what you want to do is take your die and we're going to put it this way. Your die, the part here that is cutting, needs to be a little over your paper because it should not cut your paper at this point. 
So what I like to do first is cut it. I like to play with uh, smaller pieces. And we're going to use a little bit of washi tape because I I don't want this to be moving. Even though this is a magnetic plate underneath, I still want to make sure it's not going to move. And if I usually put this face down, I'm going to put it face up. So I put my uh, clear plate underneath and I'm going to use a little bit of washi tape here and secure it. So again, make sure your paper folded part on this side is underneath the cutting edge. Okay, and I'm going to put one more piece. You could also use painter's tape. Make sure that it's something that is not going to rip off your paper when you're going to take it away. All right, so it's there. And it's just underneath, as you can see. All right, and now I'm going to take my other plate, put it on top, and run it through. All right, so I'm going to throw that part away. Take this off. And I'm also going to take my washi tape off. This is why you should make sure if your if your tape is too sticky, just put it onto your clothes a few times so it's not so sticky. Because I ruined one uh, topper because it was too sticky. And now when you're going to open it, that's what you're going to have. So you still have your design, which I think is really nice. It's absolutely the same shape, same size, and you can fold it that way. So here, you're going to tell me, yes, but it's really small. And when you take your envelope or your bag, it's going to be too small. But again, you can use, if you have a bigger die, you can use your bigger die to do the exact same thing if it has the right size for this. But now I'm going to show you with the same die how you can extend it to the size you need. So I'm going to take, again, my same die. Now I'm going to take another piece of paper. I'm going to fold it in half and I make sure it's at least the size I want here. Oh, I didn't fold it perfectly, but that doesn't matter. And we're going to position it the same way, but this time make sure you're not putting it uh, too much over one edge. Try to center it, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put some washi tape, but this time we're not going to stick it to the plate. We're going to put the washi tape here so it's going to stick on both sides. So a little bit of washi tape here. Some more there, okay? That's the way it should go. And now something is really important. We cannot, we're not supposed to, if we want to make it bigger, to cut completely this piece off. And I decide, so this is the folding, the folded part. We're going to position the folded part towards the handle. And you're going to decide wherever you want your cup to stop. So for me, I'm going to decide that I want it to stop here where the design ends there. But you could decide to stop it here, stop it above. That's totally up to you. You decide. So let's say that I want to stop it there. So I am going to position my upper plate. It's facing down. Okay, the cutting side is facing down. And it's going to be a bit too big for my machine. I need to trim it off. It's a bit too large. One more. Okay, so again, folded side this way. I am going to put my other plate on top and I'm going to decide to stop it there. So everything that is here is going to cut. Everything that is going to be on this side will not cut. Okay, I'm going to run it through now. I am going to take off the washi tape. And this is what it's going to look like, okay? So it has partially cut and it ended almost exactly where I want it. It went a little further down. But at this stage, you are going to decide how wide you want it to be. And also, what is left here, you can cut it off. 
So you can use an X-Acto knife, you can use scissors. We're going to make something very simple. And I can, I'm going to come right here to where I want it to be. And I'm going to cut this part off. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And this is what you're left with. So now let's see our bag. And now you can see that it's a bit bigger. So I could have trimmed it down before doing this or you can do it after. It's not a biggie. So it, you just need to kind of center it. You can eyeball it. I'm going to make it, oops, I'm going to make it the exact size I need. Of course, you can do that and measure if you feel like doing so, but look, it's coming exactly up to the edge where I want to. So I did this, I eyeball it, this is not really pretty, but of course you can do this in a much prettier manner. And if you don't like all these uh, bold edges, you can use also, like I said, your um, scissors like this, and you could cut down this piece here to make it look nicer. Okay, and I could probably do the same thing here. And there you go. And look at that. Now, with the same die, you made something much bigger. And it's even hiding, in my case, the white piece. It fits perfectly my bag. And if you want to, like I showed you before, if you want a little hole, you just need to put another die. Put it there. Any shape will do. And again, I'm going to run it through. And there you go. Okay, it's not symmetrical. I didn't center it perfectly, but you got the gist. So it is as easy as this. And of course, you can change the shape of it. Like, let me see, I think I have, that's the same hole. This is the, the edge using these eyes here. One of these eyes, it's actually this one that I used. And it's a spell binder. So I used that one here. So again, you can really use anything you want. Um, let's see. So for this example, I have used, again, this other scissors like these, and I did a handle much bigger here and with another shape. But that's totally an option. It's only if you really want to. You can, again, uh, skip this uh, step. But it's just to show you that the same die was suddenly much bigger than the others, and you can do, again, different shapes using different dies. So that's another one. And I made this one much larger. You can make it smaller if you want by cutting the excess away if you think it's too too big. And it's so versatile because you're going to be able now to use many, many of your dies in a different way for other purposes. Because So on the market you have dies to do back toppers. The problem is that these dies are only done for one size and it's maybe not going to fit your um, your envelope, okay, or your baggie. So let me show you something else. And again, I'm going to use the same die, but let's say that I want a very small one. So again, I'm going to use maybe this time this paper, and I don't even have to uh, fold it in half this time. I'm just going to run it through like this. I'm going to fold it in half, and this time I've got a little one. If, for example, you're making just, you're selling just a pair of earrings, maybe you want a very small one, and you've got yourself a cute little topper. So you see, you can do so many things. And again, I'm going to show you this with another shape. So this time I'm going to take this shape. So as you can see, it's different from this one, just to show you, let me put it this way, that you can apply this with anything else. So let's try it with this one. I'm going to keep this paper there, 
I'm going to fold it in half. I'm not really watching for any kind of measurements. I'm going to cut it completely. So my folded part is here. And again, I'm going to leave just a little space. So it depends if you want to leave a big part here, a big, um, let's say, opening or a smaller one. I'm going to, I don't even have to really put tape here. And this time it's even smaller than my die. You can see this. It doesn't matter. And now look at this. Perfect opening. Right? And it's a very nice size. And if I need to trim it out because it's a bit too wide, I can always come and cut wherever I want. So it's just to show you that you could do this with so many things. And let me show you a last one with the same um, circle here. It's another one. And the first one I did, I left it plain. I didn't fold it. Let's fold it. Even though there are many holes in here, it's still going to work. I'm going to take this piece of paper. I'm going to put it this way because otherwise you may not see what I'm doing because it's there. there's too many designs here. I'm going to fold it. And again, this is the outer part that's going to cut out. And I'm going to just cut out this way. And I'm not going to cut the whole part here. I'm going to stop somewhere in the middle. Okay, I'm going to put my other plate, let's put it this way, wherever I want to stop, let's say around here by the middle before it goes down, and I'm going to run it through. Okay, I should have used something to take all the bits and pieces off. So let me take a pokey tool and get rid of all these. So I didn't take everything off. It's just to show you what it's going to look like. So I'm going to cut here. I'm going to cut there. And there's your opening. So even though here I've got few holes, but because this is cardstock, it's still going to open nicely. It's going to be a bit flimsy, but it's just for to offer to somebody, it's still going to look nice. I just need to poke all the bits and pieces out, but otherwise, other than that, let me do this. Okay, I didn't take all of them out, but look at this. It still works. All right. And I could have left it totally round if I wanted to, but it's going to be a bit harder to put on a... Uh, on a baggie, but look at this, and this is too wide, no problem. I can just cut it off, make think this a little shorter if I need to, and then you just need to embellish it. And I've got myself a nice little topper. So let's see if it does fit. I didn't measure anything. It might be a bit smaller. Oh no, I almost eyeballed it perfectly. It's a bit smaller, but look at this. Okay. So you see, even with circles, it's going to work perfectly. So it's just now up to you to look at your dies in a different way because you can mash them any size baggie you need to use it for. And I think it's so, so easy to use. So this one again, I've used this this way, I've used it this way, but I could have used it this way, okay? So imagine things differently and take the most out of your dies and you don't have to really buy anything special for making your bag toppers because you're going to be able to adapt it to any size. So I hope this video was useful for you. Please give me some thumbs up. I'm going to show you again the ones that we did together. So we did this one. We did this one. I probably lost some of them. Um, we did this one too. 
Uh, we've did this one, and I did this one also in a, in a with a, the same shape, and I think they're so cute also when it's little. See, when I was talking about making sure that it's not going to rip your paper off because that's what happens. So if it's too tacky again, think about putting it onto your clothes. We did this one as well. Very simple. So I think it's really versatile and it's going to be more fun to do all your baggies and give you so many opportunities to change it. So there you go. If you like this video, please give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Please share on social media because it will help my uh, YouTube channel. And also leave me some comments below if you have any suggestions of videos. I'll be happy to do so. Thank you so much. Take care and see you soon.